Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. I've got a sneak peek of some new features coming in Pat Menu. Stick around and we'll get right to it. As of the date of this recording, these features have not yet been released to the public. I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what's coming. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi and we'll start walking through both of these new features. So both of these new features will be coming out with version 2.9.0 and you're going to find both of them under Pat Catalog. And you'll see we've got two new buttons down here at the very bottom. Send SMS and Convert WL2K Nearby to APRS. We're going to take a look at the Send SMS feature first. When you click on that button, it's going to bring you into the SMS Manager. And we've got several things that we can do here. Uh, first, I'm going to click on the Show Current Carrier List. And that's just going to show you the list of carriers that I have in my working list. And you'll also see one down there that says unknown. I'll go over how that is used here in just a minute. If you want to add a carrier to uh, your working list or your current carrier list, you can simply click on add carriers and that will bring you into a long list of carriers. Now, I can't promise that I've got everything from everywhere in the world, but I've got a pretty good list started here anyway, and it's easy enough to add something to this list if you don't find exactly what you need. I'm going to click Cancel for now. The Remove Carriers button will remove something from your current carrier list. And then the final button is Send a Text Message. So we'll go ahead and click on that and give it a phone number. Choose the carrier of the person uh, that we're sending the message to. So uh, we'll just use, i tell you what, let's use Sprint in this case. And we'll type a quick message. So test for video and click post the message. And this is going to generate that outgoing message and drop it in your outbox of Pat Winlink, where you can then go ahead and send that out over 2 meter or HF, whichever your preference is. We'll go ahead and open up that message, and you'll see in the body of the text the comment that I left uh, on the other screen, and you'll also see that it is addressed correctly for a Sprint customer. Now, in order for a text message to be delivered to a cellular device, you have to know the carrier of the person you're sending the message to. Well, sometimes you might not have that information. So let's go ahead and click the Send Text button again, and let's give it a phone number, and we'll go ahead and give it a message. So test two for video. Now, this time, instead of choosing a carrier, I'm going to choose unknown. And what that's going to do is that's going to generate a message that's going to be sent out to every known carrier in your working list. Now, obviously, most of those are going to bounce uh, and uh, not be deliverable, but hopefully at least one of those messages goes through. So I'll go ahead after choosing the unknown carrier and click post the message. Now, let's open that message up in the outbox and take a look at it and how it's different. You'll see right here in the two line, we've got the phone number at txt.att.net. And then in the CC line, we're also sending it to Sprint, we're sending it to T-Mobile, and we're sending it to Verizon. So, hopefully, that message is going to get delivered. Well, if I'd have given it a legitimate phone number anyway. So that's a brief overview of how the new SMS feature is going to work in Pat Menu. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to another Raspberry Pi, and let me show you that second new feature. Before you can use this other new feature, you do need to request uh, from the Winlink system a list of all nearby users. And those are just, uh, I believe that's 30 of the closest users to you that have posted a recent WinLink position report. And I've got that report right here in my inbox. So you'll see the WL2K underscore nearby. You do have to have this already done before you can use this feature. Let's minimize that because we're done with it. And let's go back to the PAT catalog. 
This time we're going to click the Convert WL2K Nearby to APRS button. It'll tell you that it's processing the file, and then it'll tell you that it's done and ready to be imported into YAC. So what that did in the background was it took that information out of the WinLink position report and it reformatted it as an APRS object. So I'm going to go ahead and open up YAC, and then I'm going to click File, Load, Objects and Items. Once the dialog box pops up, Let's go ahead and navigate to the desktop, and you'll see that new gateways.pos file. We will highlight it and then click Open. And that's going to populate all of those stations in that report onto the map. Now, there's another cool feature of this, and basically right now I'm just looking at Tennessee and a little bit of the surrounding states from Tennessee. Uh, but now, if we double-click on any one of these stations, you will see that you can read the comment right here that they posted when they posted the position report. So this was my uh, position report from a few days ago, and you can see my comment was green, battery was at 100%, and I was checking WinLink daily. This little uh, group right here, this is a cluster of stations uh, that were mountaintopping, and I believe it was four different stations all posted a position report. If we double-click on that diamond there, you'll actually get a list of all four of the objects uh, that were in that vicinity at the time, and you can still read their comments in this dialog box here. So uh, this one's from Kenny, and he says, Green, enjoying some mountaintopping at Wachizi. And uh, then you can read the rest of the comments from the other operators right there as well. I'll be releasing this code to patrons this week in order for them to start the beta testing. After they've had a period to play with it, I'll release this over in the forums, and then somewhere maybe four to six weeks from now, this will actually go public, assuming we don't find any major bugs. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.